They were originally referred to in lawsuits as Mother Doe and John Doe to protect their identities, but they are so angry at this point, they wanted to talk on camera to put a face on what they say is an ongoing problem that we all need to wake up to. How better to protect our kids from child abusers and how to hold powerful institutions accountable. There are a lot of old family pictures of Liam Penland smiling as a little boy. Now, though, at 22, that smile is a lot harder to come by. He has trouble just making eye contact. Surreal is the only way I know how to put it. It just didn't feel like real life. Almost like I was in a movie or something. He's talking about the day he realized his secret was out. The day his mom found out he'd been molested by his tennis coach when he was 12. Liam had denied it when I initially talked to him. And then, I won't. And then I got the phone call, and they told me that Skip had named Liam as one of his victims. Skip Reville stood in a South Carolina courtroom five and a half years ago, pleading guilty to molesting 23 boys hundreds of times over a decade. He got 50 years in prison. I want to make it clear that I am the only one responsible for my actions. But Liam disagrees. So does his mom and a small group of others, because in the 2000s, Reville was a cadet at the Citadel, then was hired as a counselor at a camp run by the Citadel there on campus. Documents released by the Citadel show they knew a camper accused Reville of sexually abusing him and five other boys, but officials at the school did not report the allegations to police. No one did. That meant Reville was free to get other jobs around kids, working as a teacher, a coach, and a mentor, where he went on to molest dozens of boys, including Liam. It's like he's a monster. Like, I don't know how else to say it. He obviously, I don't think, could control his urges, but like these other adults who really had nothing to gain by covering for him other than protecting their reputation. So Liam and his mom and several others have spent years suing the Citadel in civil courts. Liam blames the Citadel and himself for the victims that came after him. You feel like the Citadel let you down? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I let people down that were victims after me. So if I feel that, why shouldn't they feel some sort of responsibility? You take that on? Yeah, every day. But so far, the courts have repeatedly ruled in favor of the Citadel, saying the school is not responsible for abuse that happened after Reville left the military college. So far, the courts have said to the Citadel, that's okay. We don't like it, but you, don't have it. you haven't violated a duty to anybody by violating your own rules. Lori and Liam are now waiting to see if the state Supreme Court will hear the case. So you blame the Citadel for your son's abuse? I think they're co-conspirators. I think they allowed, um, I think USA Gymnastics is going through the same thing right now. You know, it's not enough that you just move them along. You know, you can't do that when it comes to children. She says, if nothing else, there is a moral obligation at the Citadel of all places where the motto is duty, honor, respect, to report child abuse. But as long as people continue to allow this, institutions allow this abuse to go on. Look how many boys' lives were affected. We've tried repeatedly to get comment from the attorney representing the Citadel, but his assistant told us he's been in trial for two weeks. He hasn't returned our calls or our emails. Back to you.